Okay, hey guys here. So I'm GM Minli, so welcome guys to my YouTube channel. So this is the second game of my speedrun account and welcome guys. Hopefully you enjoy the videos, you enjoy the fun. And if you have any feedbacks or any advices to give me make me better, feel free to tell me below. Sure. Okay, so here I am playing one repeat game today and trying to explain things in the concept. Feel free to ask me questions after the game finish, and if I'm taking speaking too fast, just tell me so that I can try to slow it down. Sure? So, let's go. <clears throat> With the game instantly. This game, so we are white. So, to make people understand about the concept most clearly, I will play the Queen's Gambit variations. This is the one I know the most. But obviously, if you guys have any ideas to do or want to learn anything in particular, please tell me later on what I want to see. Sure? So, d 45 c4. <clears throat> nice c6. Hmm, interesting. In fact, so obviously in this level, you can see all kind of things, right? But this is known to be pretty rare. Pretty rare. The idea is to put pressure on opponent d4 right away and also prepare for e5, right? So there will be many ways to play here. Many ways for white to also obtain good positions. The simplest thing to play here is cd5 and then like e3. But I think to make it more fun and more interactive, I will try to go for some very complex lines. Nice c3. <clears throat> we put pressure on opponent right away. E6. Okay, this is to the main line. <coughs> Knight 3. <coughs> we just develop properly and try to go bishop g5 or this letter. Queen d6. Well, it is already a sign of things that doesn't go well, guys. So normally, if you can, so please remember me that you may not want to get your queen into the game early, right? Which can lead to some trouble or your queen sometimes can even get trapped. Okay, here I think he wants to prevent my bishop f4 ideas, isn't it? <clears throat> That's why I play this. Although, objectively speaking, this looks a bit strange, right? So, e4. <clears throat> I gotta send that right away and also have a plan to attack the queen. dc4. Go to the bishops. <clears throat> As you can see already, right? I'm heading. I'm having some strong center, and my pieces are more developed as well. Now I have six. So here, in fact, it invites me to play e5 instantly, guys, instantly. But I won't do that. I won't do that. I will just castles first. I will tell later on why e5 now will not be winning games. We'll talk later on. Castles. He played e5 himself. But this one now is super risky. He is slow in development. And this thing now allow me to start my attack here. With the forcing move, knight b5. Attack the queen and put pressure on the center in directly. And you see, right? He just made a huge blunder, which I think can end the game instantly, isn't it? Take the queen for free and he resigned. <clears throat> he did that right away, guys. So I just realized we just had a super short game, you know? And my opponent just made things happen so, so bad for him. Okay, so let's go to the game again, review it, and understand some ideas of this line. <coughs> sure? So, okay, here, let's put this one. Okay, actually, let's put, let's put this way one moment. Okay, here it is. So, in the game, my opponent, he just made things so, so wrong. For the line here, so let's see four. He played this. The main line here and the thing that is more solid 
for somebody here who is interested to know is the cd5 queen d5 e3 e5 knight c3 should be four should be two that's the main line right so bishop c3 takes and that's one and c4 i mean like here so i think f3 or c4 it's unplayable c4 queen d6 and f3 he played i think like castles or e4 which is both playable as well which is the, this is the main line and this is known to be much more safer and you know leads to a professional game in the games i decided to go for something much more complex knight c3 the thing here is i play dc4 the pawn right i get d5 instantly d5 put pressure on his knight on c6 right so if you play knight b8 you just play like e4 and i got the center very quickly when things looks pretty good right we got a center and we are more developed so the main line is knight e5 and i think i should play like f4 displayable i can also think about like you know i think queen d4 as well but the main line here i believe is f4 and this one and i can be able to get a strong center and win upon here again you understand me right in case you may wonder it actually feels like the reverse on the coin right like they have this developed bishop i mean his knight early on you need to spend a few tempo with that and risk the slow development you understand me so in the game here he played e6 which is a safer choice but on f3 the thing here is that this knight in fact is not helpful but the square the square knight is only covered right so the knight here is not very well placed c5 which is one of the main ideas here is stopped also this one is also stopped too isn't it so it makes it harder for him to play something precisely in the game he played this one queen d6 which is very very wrong good or bad here i think you should play this move here knight f6 and then play here maybe like bishop e7 castles and maybe trying to re rook his pieces later on <clears throat> right in the game he play queen d6 and guys as i mentioned earlier you don't want to improve and develop your queen so early before other pieces the queen if nothing goes wrong should be the last pieces developed since you need to focus with your king safety and your mana pieces first you know what i mean in the game so play e4 instantly and put him in pressure right when obviously it's not so simple enough for him to decide what to do and what's the best way to deal with these situations in the center even with the best move i think it's like d4 i can just take it here on e4 queen b4 and then i play like knight c3 again and once again his queen is a bit misplaced right and i can guess activities in the center in the game you play here which is even worse like here and i have six so in the game my castles obviously i think people here can see that i can play e5 right but can people here answer to me what can black do now to defend the queen and the fork what can black play now to defend that <clears throat> black has only one move here to save himself from losing material yes the move is queen before you guys are right so by queen before they think not only that he want to put pressure on the bishop right which if you play here you can play here and now i think black is even okay he prevent the viking from castling and take your take here and somehow black is even more developed isn't it so somehow i think if i'm white here i will be three but now look like at this move with a pin he got away with a pin right and i think he escaped somewhat that's why in the game i play castles first castles first the plan for me here is that if you play here i will play e5 now and only now because here 
Atidas and Bishop here is also hanging, right? And we are a piece up. You understand? So here I think it is already super to play. Maybe like Queen D7 or Queen D8, like here for instance. But now I think it's all good for me. So here if you are white, if you are white now, what may you want to do? You get a very strong center and you're already developed. <clears throat> so what do you prefer to play? This is actually a very typical situation when one side is developed and need to figure out what to do next. So here, if you're white, what do you prefer? I would say this one is super instructive, especially for a game when one side is more developed compared to the others. <clears throat> A3 is too slow, too slow. I think here the thing is kind of simple, but need to be understood very, very well. <clears throat> Somehow now, after one side is cast out, he finishes development somewhat, and the other still struggle his development here. You can still see that Black still need like one more uh, tempo to cast out, right? So a thing to do always is trying to open up things instantly. Chip G5 will be a bit imprecise due to something here for instance. And here play that smooth, you know. And like somehow can develop. E5 can be a nice threat, but it is hard to be carried out, right? D5 with a thing. A3 with so slow, when black can just develop here and castles, right? Although you will see better here for white. But you will need to play a longer game. D5 is very strong. Why? We play, let's say here, right? Stay here, and now all of a sudden, the E file is completely open, right? When things now, you can see here, looks very dangerous, isn't it? If you play like here, for instance, we play Queen A4, and this one you can just like play. Here now, and you can see for instance, all of a sudden here, all the threats are so dangerous, and Black Kings now are screaming for help, right? E5 here is also fine, but then Black can play here, this one, which block the center, and then you won't be able to carry out the breakthrough in the center. I mean, if you play like here, right, you can play like D5 right away, which is fine. But he can block, and that will not be so easy for you to go through. Group E1 is also very good as well. But he can just play here again, right? And D5 may not be as strong as you want. Understand me? That's why you play here instantly. Take advantage of his slow development. And try and open up the king on the yet. Which F4 is actually a good choice here right but once again like can i think just play bishop b4 for instance should be four and here he play here no when this pawn can be covered also this one is also fine as well i believe like even a6 maybe but i think this is the best move should be seven maybe five is a nice choice by you but i think like can get away with this sacrifice maybe maybe that's why d5 is a very strong idea you understand me, right? To make you understand more about the things, I'll ask you about some more moves. Play ED5 here. Text. 9B8, right? 9B8. Group E1. Should be 7. So now, for instance, how can you stop Black from castling? Here, there's a way you can try to prevent Black from castling. What is that? Queen a4 here is not too good since black can just play like 97 for instance or even this, you know. I think the best way to play here is queen e2. Queen e2. Which is a very typical way to play in this kind of positions. 
Now castles drop the bishop, right? And as you can see here, black won't be able to castles easily. Now also there are like lots of threats here. That actually is very annoying. If you play let's say here for instance, right? You can play like bishop f4 for instance. And if you play something like let's say here. So guys, now there is a small tactics. A small tactics to decide to get on the spot. What is that? In fact, there should be so many ways to win the game here at this point. The best way to play here is mentioned by Tapir Knight. The queen is overloaded, right? This one now will decide the game on the spot. Queen takes here is mid, isn't it? Obviously, if you want to do something much more simpler, you can consider d6, you know? When this pin also decide the game as well. But this one is just more convincing, isn't it? So, as you can see here, that's why at this point, castling is already so annoying. Even run back the queen away, getting away from the fork here, still allow own kind of troubles, right? Own kind of troubles. And it's not even easy here for black to finish its development. Due to the bad move early with queen here, right? As you can see. That's why people know that you should not try to get your queen to the game too early. You understand me? In the game here, so he play e5, which I can play this one in the game. And this one is already so damn annoying. So damn annoying. If you play queen before, right? Just take here and it is easy. The rook is captured and the king, you know, is also losing the red castles, right? If you play queen d7, the pawn now drops. Drops. And his king is still in some big trouble, right? I will mention this one later on. The best way to play here, I think, is queen e7. Queen e7. Okay. So now I will say black has at least three possible ways to obtain a decisive advantage. Can you show me some? White is much better, much better here. So many moves to be able to get better. But can you list them for me? Why to play and obtain a decisive initiative? <clears throat> For the time being, the queen on e7 is still defending on the pawns here, but it blocked the bishop as well, right? And it makes the development of black seems even worse. So now we have some ways to play. I want to see what you guys want to choose. Okay, I see three ideas here. It should be nicer if there are more people here commenting and asking questions. I just want the session to be interactive. And people can all enjoy time together, right? Okay, I see five different moves right now. Great. I know, I mean, I want people to own and drive in together, you know? That's why I'm asking people questions. <clears throat> okay, let's go. So, there are some things here that I can see from the chat. We'll try to explain all of those moves. First of all, so... The best move here, I think, is the easiest. It's mentioned by Lawful, 9g5. For me, this one is the easiest, you know? It put pressure on this pawn on f7, and it make it super tough to defend. The only, I mean, the way play here, you know, for instance, we just take, and here, right? And you can see here, we got the Royal Fork alert. Isn't it? <clears throat> 
to play 98 just the way to defend the f7 square we can just take on e5 right and queen e5 now so guys another tactics why to play and win material what is that we have seen the same idea before this game so now what is the tactics here that once again give a white material lead Now f7, just take it with the knight, you know? So it may not be very simple. The way to play is queen d8, exclamation mark. See, right? So now he must take it with the king. And boom. All of a sudden, you got the royal fork again, right? When things is just completely lost for black. Here, for instance, right? And still, say, we still got a fork here again, right? For instance, and go here again, so... The fork happened again, which is pretty funny, isn't it? So now you fight things the easiest way to go for the attack. This one, I, I don't know, I think like now will be in some big trouble, in my opinion. Another way is mentioned in a shot a lot, which I can see here is something, okay, I can see with DE5, which should also be considered. But here, so Tarpir Knight, he made I think a visualization mistake. It is knight e5. So here, the queen can't take c7 since, I mean, the knight can't, can't take here, since the queen is still covering that, right? So here, if you play this move, I will suggest you to play with f4, this one. When you put extreme pressure on this diagonal, knight c4 allow here, right? When you win a queen. And now things also look pretty grim for black. Defending here is not easy at all. G4 for instance, so allow, I mean, like E5, right? When things look very, very bad. Or even Queen A4, when this can decide the game, more or less. Queen A4 is also suggested here by Carl. But this one, I think, will not be so easy since black can play, like, for instance, A6. Right? <clears throat> so this one, I think it probably helped him to survive. I mean, you can still be fine here with like maybe knight 5 I don't know. But this one is not too simple. Although I completely agree that you should be much better after like here, here, and then like knight 8 But it's not winning yet. I think the way to go to the king is simpler. Simpler than going for the material. B3 is also mentioned here as well. But you know... It is so slow. You want to play here, I can see, right? But black has this move, a6. Which once again ruin your fun. a3, you got queen, d7. And now your knight here is suddenly under attack, right? Which make your plan a bit mess up. That's why here some faster attack should be considered. The final thing I need to say is that g5 here is also great. But allow the same thing with a6. When take here, doesn't lead to some special, right? Now, actually, black is even safer. <clears throat> so, you see, right? Somehow here in the game, e5, now we fight here, and it is already so hard to play. Queen e7 is not a good thing you can see earlier, right? Why so many ways to get better? But that is the best move that black can play. Queen d8, just take here, right? In the game, so black made a crucial mistake with this move. I don't even know if this is a mouse slip or not, but this is equal to death, isn't it? Need design. So, as you can see here, just a short game, right? Nine moves win. Very quick win, in fact, but still so many things to learn, right? So many things to learn, so many lessons, and so on, much ideas to benefit from. First of all, don't put your, I mean, like, this is the line to play for this opening. You can play CD5 or E3 or even C3, which is both playable. In the game, I play this. You play here, here. And the first lesson is that you don't want to put the queen to the game so early. Isn't it? <clears throat> Isn't it? That's right. First thing I can say. Second, 
is that so in the games so I play here and he just put pieces in a very bad square, isn't it? If I can always be a thing and he is in some big trouble, you know what I mean? In the game here, so he met me wrong by playing e5, but even with the best move, right? You trying to open up the center right away, so just remember that when you finish your development and your opponent doesn't. The best idea is to try to open up things instantly and aim at his king. You know what I mean? So in a game, I don't know. In fact, so I can play knight 7 too. You know? And win things here. But I realized that, okay, take your first. And then I can play later on. Like, it is still there, right? It can't run away. <clears throat> well, faster, I mean, at your level. So this thing may not be super easy. Somehow, if you understand the idea and the concept, you will be able to carry out things, carry out the things soon, and everything will improve. Okay, so that's the game. Any questions for the game? Do you think that I am explaining things well? Sometimes I think I am still a bit fast, but overall, I think I'm doing a good job. So, any questions or anything you want to ask me? Okay, my pleasure. So if you have no questions, I think I will just stop record and that's the game for today. The game only lasted for five minutes, but we explained the game and own kind of concept for 20 minutes, right? Which I think you can be able to learn things better and understand the concept. So I will stop record right here. Thank you guys for hearing. Thank you people for enjoying. Please give me the feedback and hopefully you love the videos. Peace.